All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Sometimes you, you just got to ask yourself, is this video going to be important enough to wear pants? And sometimes the answer is yes, and sometimes the answer is no. And I'm just curious, what are y'all good-looking, sexy people out in, out in mug book land and ain't yo tube? What, what do you do when you're faced with a dilemma like that? When the dilemma is, is this video I'm about to make, is this going to be important enough for pants? Me personally, I usually just say, fuck it, they'll never know, right? Because anything waist down isn't going to get on the camera anyway. And so I just, uh, I'm about three, that's about 90% of a cup of coffee done. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm one cup of coffee into the day and it is noon and you got to wonder, I'm going to, I want to shoot a quick video, but is it important enough to wear pants? And sometimes the answer is just, nah, fuck it, who cares? I ain't gonna put on no goddamn pants. I'll put on a pair of shorts, though. How are you good-looking, sexy people doing out in happy land today? We got seven steps we're working on. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about... See, now there, I lost my train of thought. I had something I wanted to talk about, and now I can't remember. Oh! A quick unboxing vid so the other day I went out to the uh, to the martial arts supply store and I bought myself I'll switch this over so you can see now this is my workspace but it has become inundated with other people's stuff which is not cool do not do that that shit ain't cute do not occupy my workspace with your stuff. It's not polite. It's not any kind of good. So I need to, uh, I think I need to clean my camera lens. There we are. Yeah, still kicking, good, I'm glad. I hope everyone out there in happy land is doing well today. This is going to be an especial unboxing video. So here's the box. I do not know what is in this box, but um, let's, let's pop it open and see what's in there. Someone gave this to me um, as a gift. It kind of feels empty. What the, what is that? Just some regular old paper? It's an unboxing video. Well, that's no fun. All right, we'll get down to the meat of it then. That is not exactly very useful, but who cares, right? So what I've got for you here today is something I bought at the martial arts supply store the other day, and I wanted to go ahead and uh, christen it together with you, open it up, so to speak, and have a look a look -a. Again, it is my pleasure to be with you and to be, to be presenting today. Um, I don't always get an opportunity to do an unboxing video with a live studio audience. I hope you guys are doing well out there in the audience. How about this fucking heat, huh? This shit is deadly. I, I've heard of three or four people dying in the, the last couple of days from the heat. Um, they're out there running, running around worried about coovies and got their mask on and they can't breathe and they're dropping dead from it. Not from the coovies. Everyone knows the Kuvies is fake, but uh, wow, he, he did a better job wrapping this than I had assumed. 
All right, enough of that. Happy horse shit. Get that off of there. I gotta focus so I don't cut my fingers. What has he done here? Dude's like a professional with his wrapping, huh? I'll just go ahead and do it off camera. And voila, the reveal. There it is there, get rid of this packaging material. Wow, that stuff was brutal. So this is the item I purchased the other day. It is a stainless steel, stainless steel spearhead. I have been wanting to buy a decent spearhead. For some time and I finally got myself one. So I'm super stoked about that. I don't think it will actually fit into this box. Oh, look at that almost fits in the box but not quite so this ended up costing me about twelve dollars it's not sharpened i don't even know if it's set on the correct plane for it to be sharpened so if you're interested yeah you saw me checking them out the other day and cool if you're interested in this type of spearhead uh you could probably find them online for fairly cheap this one just has a chinese character for wu for wushu for martial arts emblazoned on it i would estimate its weight to be about huh i don't know let's find out i'll grab the the scale and weigh it Sadly, my hand scale is not available. It's not handy. What good is having a hand scale that's not handy? What a disappointment. Um, all right, so guesstimation here. Less than, uh, less than a kilo, maybe a pound, half a kilo. I'm gonna say 550 grams somewhere there's about the tip is not sharpened but i don't think i think if you were like really i mean it's not sharpened at all so you could use it for practice but it's still deadly if you were really interested in poking this into someone as a weapon then uh the sharpness level would not matter so much. You just drive it home. So yeah, that was approximately twelve dollars U.S. If you um, if you need some of these, let me know. I could probably get them down to ten bucks a piece plus shipping. So uh, obviously, my time and picking them up and shipping them to you would uh, would cost some money, and then you'd have to have them sharpened. I might be able to order them sharpened. But uh, they're they're easier to get this way. That way, they're not they're just considered wushu items. They're not considered deadly weapons. But yeah, that'll work as a handheld weapon. And then if you've got a stick, you can jam that onto. I would I would uh, I would opt to take one of these, as I think it would serve as a decent dagger, and um, it would probably be my choice. I mean, fully sharpened, of course, over just having a knife in the wild, maybe, because its utility is a little greater, because you can make it into a spear and hunt with it, and you can take it off the spear and use it as a handheld knife. So I just thought I would share that with you today. Uh, we've been doing a lot of 
uh, holiday shopping since I'm off for summer. When, when I say a lot, I don't mean a lot. Like I've bought a few things. Uh, you know, $10 items. Yesterday I bought this travel kit of Faber -Ca -Ca Castile. Castel. Uh, Faber Castel watercolors, and I'm already having fun with those. Um, yeah, good times. So I've got the uh, Faber Castile watercolors, and I uh, bought myself a little bit of paper to go with. Oh, excuse me, Jesus Christ, put on a pair of pants, Frank. So there is. Object de art. One. I've never, I've honestly never used watercolors much or gouache. But I thought I'd get the kids started. Um, they've done oil. Amber actually took an oil painting class and she's done some sketching. She's pretty good. Dre too, yeah. No. But I thought I would, uh, I thought I would. This is, the, the theme of this summer is a summer of watercolor and gouache. So that's gonna be our, our summer theme. Gouaching it out. Yeah. We'll sketch and we'll gouache. All right, I'm gonna sign off and then I'll come. What? Yeah. All right, y'all good looking, happy, sexy people out in happy land. Um, I'm gonna sign off for now and uh, make myself a, a cup of joe. You know that I love you. And I will see you in the future. Bye for now.